Steve and his father are going exploring. Seeing the swim fins and inner tube, we can guess where? In the ocean. Steve's sister, Anne, and his mother are going exploring too. They're going to wade along the shallow water near the shore, while Steve and father go farther out. Here in this sunny climate, the ocean water is usually warm. Steve has gone out many times with his father, and he's learned to be a good swimmer. With his face mask and swim fins, Steve can dive far below the surface of the water. Let's follow Steve and see what he finds. Here, along the rock and sand of the ocean bottom, there are many kinds of fish and plants and other living things. These living things appear quite different from those we see on land. For example, Steve sees something that looks like a rock, but he knows that it is made up of very small animals called corals. Just beyond the fish, we can see something that looks like tree branches. These are also a kind of coral. These are formed of the hard skeletons of millions of tiny coral animals. Steve and father are now approaching a rocky ridge called a reef. This reef is made of many kinds of corals, so it is called a coral reef. Many plants and animals live around the reef. Fish sometimes swim through holes in the reef, making their homes in the dark caves inside. What a difference there is between this world under the sea and the world in which we live and breathe. Yet do you know that many of the things we need to live, things such as air and sunlight, are also found in the water below? Of course, there is not as much light, but we know that there is some because we can see. There is air, too, dissolved in the water. Plants and animals here need light and air to live, just like living things on land. And, like living things on land, these animals and plants depend on one another. This fish, for example, depends on plants growing along the reef and smaller animals for its food. Other animals may depend on the fish for their food. Animals growing along the reef get their food in different ways. The sea anemone, for example, looks like a harmless plant. But it is an animal with long, stinging tentacles. The tentacles can capture fish and other animals, which the anemone depends on for food. These living things that look like flowers are really animals that also live on the reef. They are called tube worms. The waving tentacles sweep tiny particles of food into the mouths of the tube worms. These little specks drifting around the tube worms are tiny plants and animals called plankton. Many ocean animals eat plankton. Steve and father are now moving away from the community of plants and animals living along the reef to explore the open, sandy floor of the ocean. In this area, there are other living things that depend on one another. Growing in the sand, we see what looks like the thick stem of a large plant. Actually, it is another kind of coral, called a sea feather. Many plants and animals depend on the sea feather. The sea feather provides a home for this clam, which grows attached to it. Also attached to the sea feather are the tiny animals called hydroids. This snail depends on part of the sea feather for its food. The seahorse, a kind of fish, 
is often found near the sea feather. Steve has spotted another fish that hides near the sea feather. Can you see the long, thin trumpet fish? It looks like a pencil standing on end. We say that the trumpet fish is camouflaged because it looks like part of the sea feather. A fish with another kind of camouflage is the cowfish. The markings on its back look very much like the ocean floor, hiding it from its enemies. This is one way an animal may be protected. The porcupine fish has another kind of protection. The sharp thorny spines protect it from being eaten by larger fish. The spiny lobster has sharp spear-like feelers which it can use to defend itself. It is also protected by a hard armor-like shell. Sometimes the shell of one animal provides protection for another. This hermit crab is in a shell that was once part of another animal. The hermit crab uses the shell as a place to hide and as a home which it carries on its back. Fish may also find protection inside the shell of another animal. So, animals have different ways of protecting themselves, as Steve and his father have seen. Nearby, Steve's father is experimenting with a clam. He has put ink into the clam's mouth. It is sucked inside and then squirted out through an opening at the top. This shows how the clam sucks in water and plankton. The clam depends on plankton for its food. This sea hare, a kind of large snail, feeds on plants called algae. The sea cucumber is another animal that finds its food along the bottom of the ocean. The cucumber feeds on tiny bits of decaying material found buried in the sand. A fish that feeds along the bottom is the flounder. The flounder has both eyes and its mouth on one side of its head. The eyes can turn in all directions in search of food and the flounder may pounce on it quickly. The jellyfish, which is not really a fish, moves by a sort of in and out pumping motion of the round part of its body called the bell. Above the bell are tentacles which strain plankton from the water and may also catch small fish and other animals which the jellyfish uses for food. The octopus is another animal that finds its food along the floor of the ocean. The octopus moves by using its long arms and by shooting out a stream of water from within its body as a kind of jet propulsion. Closely related to the octopus is the squid. Like the octopus, the squid can force out water from its body to move quickly, or it may move slowly by using its fins. Sometimes, many squids will swim together in search of food. Getting food, moving from place to place, protection from enemies. These are some of the things Steve and his father have seen among the different kinds of plants and animals that live in the ocean. Now it's time to return to shore. On the beach, Mother and Anne have been preparing a meal. They've been cooking lobster and other seafood. Steve is looking forward to his lunch. He's also looking forward to learning more about the different kinds of plants and animals that live together in the ocean. <laughs>